Well, here at Shawnee Regional Airport, we've had a lot of progress on our uh, projects. The uh, terminal building, the new terminal building is basically complete. We've occupied it. We occupied it about two weeks ago. We have to uh, wait for the uh, existing building to be demolished and then the contractor will finish up the landscaping and sodding and, and uh, all the dirt work around the building and then the security fencing will be uh, installed. Millions of dollars are being spent at the Shawnee Regional Airport. The majority of this money comes from sources outside our city, such as the Federal Aviation Administration and the Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission. Today, we get a first-hand look at the brand new terminal, which welcomes our guests as they disembark from their airplanes. Uh, the new terminal building has several great features for pilots and for the public. Uh, the area that we're sitting here now is the public waiting area. Uh, the, the west and the south walls are total glass so the public can see what's going on out there and watch the planes come and go as they're waiting for their, their planes to come in or to leave uh, or just come out and enjoy the airport. We have a, a large conference room that can be used by corporate clients as they come in or the general public is also welcome to try to use that. And we'll certainly work with them on that. Uh, we have a uh, a second floor mezzanine that can be used as a small conference area or waiting area that people will be able to look out over the airport. Uh, we have a pilot's lounge that is uh, kind of a private area for the pilots. Uh, corporate jets will come in and their, their clients will go off and do their business and the pilots are basically out here for the day and there's a recliner and a television and, and an area for them to do their flight planning as well. Uh, there's Wi-Fi throughout the building so that they can really be anywhere in the building and do what they need to do that way. And then there's also a flight planning room that will have a computer set up in it for uh, planning their flights for their next leg of their journey. Private pilots, you know, for the smaller airplanes, well, the first thing they need when they hit the ground is a bathroom. And 24 hours a day, there is a, a bathroom facility now available for them. And uh, also, you know, we'll, we'll be providing water and, and some amenities that they normally wouldn't get at other places. Pilots as a whole like to be spoiled. And that was kind of the idea behind a lot of the features at the building is to make the, pilot, the, excuse me, make the pilots feel comfortable and, and meet their needs. Well, in the old building, we did have a, the conference room, pilot's lounge, public waiting area was all the same room. So if a corporate pilot or corporate pilot crew was here, then they would be in there and people would be walking back and forth to go to the, the restroom and the vending machines. And they just didn't have a place to rest and to get caught up on what they need to do. All those different entities now have a place to go. That's really their own area within the building. The importance of a regional airport to citizens is really an economic one. An airport the size of ours employs a few people itself, but more important, it is an asset for existing large companies and recruitment of new large companies. These companies offer residents of the area quality paying jobs. The planes that come in here range from just your small one seat experimental aircraft to uh, large 12 to 15 passenger corporate jets. First of all, it's a, an economic development driver for the city. When pilots come in, whether corporate or private pilots, uh, they go into town and will get dinner or lunch and oftentimes go to the mall, get things that they need on their trip. And also for the corporate area, for instance, ExxonMobil executives will fly in here and that allows them to do their business better. We're in the final stages of the process of creating a portion of the airport as a foreign trade zone. Basically what it means is a plane could come in from a foreign country, 
land here and unload their goods and not have to go through customs and pay duties and all that. For instance, they may make a, an airplane wing. They would assemble the wing here and then when they sold that or shipped it wherever, that's when they would have to pay their duties. In other words, they can, they can make their product and sell it and get a return on it before they have to pay those custom dues. Now, businesses are looking for a, an airport that has a foreign trade, trade zone status so that they can expedite the customs process and not have to pay money up front. That will help develop the airport, get industri industry out here, and that brings more quality jobs to Shawnee and the region.